What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Banking Creek Fishing. Me and Davey, we got our waders on, it's cold right now. We're still hitting the creek because the fishing is still good. You just need to change up your lures and your retrieve a little bit to still get bit. And what we're doing, we took a selection out of our November and December Banking Creek kit, which is live on LureNet right now, exclusively for bank fishing. Awesome kit. We grabbed the Rebel Raider out of here. What this is is a subsurface walking bait that you're able to cast around the shallow cover and work it around and control the depth. We want to have a lure that controls depth because we're trying to keep it out of the grass and the moss and the nasty stuff that grows up whenever the water gets cold here this time of year. This bait is excellent at that. We're going to dive into that, see if we can catch any bass. It's a good one. Get in here, buddy. Stay on, please. Woohoo! Please stay on here. Get in here. Uh, if I have to swim for this one, I'm going to. I really don't care. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh man. Oh, look at him, man. <laughs> That's a good smallmouth, man. What were we talking about? We're talking about depth control, keeping this bait above that grass because they're eating minnows coming out of that grass. Twitching that bait above it gives you a dang good smallmouth, man. Now that I've came back down to earth after catching that big smallmouth, just talk about how we're fishing this thing. You cast it out, it slowly sinks and has a really cool shimmy to it. But then right before it hits that grass or that muck that we're fishing over, I just give it subtle little pops, little twitches. And that thing, it just flashes and darts back and forth, looks just like a dying minnow. This is an excellent ultralight option, especially for right now in this cold weather like we're fishing in. I mean, minnows and stuff are already dying in these creeks anyway, so this is what bass are used to. I got him. I got him, Dave. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that and hit it right next to the bank. We just sight fished this one on the Rebel Raider. Gosh, man. What's going on, Davey? Dude, this is unreal creek fishing right now, man. I think I'm gonna bring a tent and just live down here for a few days. That was awesome. I literally brought this raider in, twitching it back. I saw this bass come up next to this log. And I just said, you know what? Pitched it right back to him, let it sink down on his head because it's got that awesome shimmy. Caught him. Wow. Let's talk a little bit about where that fish actually bit. Me and Dave, we walked forever like we do, which is the key to creek fishing. You need to walk a long ways and find out where the deepest spots are. We found this really deep channel, this little levee kind of thing right here. I mean, it's probably six, seven foot of water out there and there's trees, there's current running through here. It's a perfect spot to catch a big bass like we just did. That's a major key though this time of year and all times of the year. It's finding the right spot, walk forever. I mean, we've probably got blisters all over our feet just from walking in these waders, but man, we're finding some good fish now. Oh gosh, there's one dude, there's one. Feels like good. Oh, it is! Oh, gosh! Oh, I'm getting a tent. I'm staying here this weekend. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. He got it choked, too. Davey! Man. Look at this guy. You think they want that Rebel Raider? Perfect fall time bait right here. Guys, get the November, December Banking Creek kit. Try this bait out. You're going to want to buy 100 of them. This thing is awesome. 